Welcome to this brief demonstration on how to use a secure cellular handset. If we have a look at the device itself, we can see that it is a standard HTC HD mini device running Windows 6.5 operating system. When unlocking the phone, the first screen that comes up is the Secure Cellular Home screen. Unlike other secure or encrypted solutions on the market, Secure Cellular is not an application which sits on top of the existing OS, but rather we have gone inside the ROM of the device and have deeply embedded Secure Cellular into the OS of the device. To toggle between the Secure Cellular UI and the standard Windows 6.5 UI, all the user needs to do is to press the Windows button at the bottom of the device. When looking at the Windows UI, you can see that there are some of the normal Windows icons that you would expect on a 6.5 device, such as the Opera browser, Google Maps, Outlook, standard Windows dialer, etc. To go back to the secure cellular home screen, simply press the home button at the bottom of the device. The secure cellular UI is in a grid format and easy to navigate around with only nine icons. The most important of these icons is the status icon, as this reflects the connectivity status of the device with the encryption server. A green tick means that the device is connected through to the encryption server and is ready to make a call. By pressing the status icon, you can change the connection status of the device. To reconnect, simply press the icon again and wait for the green tick to appear. For the purposes of this demonstration, the phone on the right is connected through to the encryption server via a wireless network, and the phone on the left is connected through to the same encryption server via Wi-Fi. A secure cellular converts, encrypts and compresses voice into a 5 kilobit data stream, we are extremely flexible on which method of transport is to be used, and means that calls can be made over a wireless network, Wi-Fi, or even using satellite as backhaul. The benefit of using Compression is that unlike other secure applications, we do not require a 3G bandwidth and can operate on existing GPRS or edge networks. Additionally, by being able to use existing Wi-Fi connections, there is the ability to pass calls between data networks without going via the wireless network. As voice is converted to data, it means that voice can now be treated like any other data packet and can be buffered for when there is a poor quality signal. This means that there is no voice dropout. A user is able to pass from a Wi-Fi coverage area onto a wireless network and back again without the call being dropped, or indeed any packets being lost. The only noticeable effect will be a temporary increase in the delay while handover takes place. Now let's have a look on how to use the device. There are two methods in which to make a call. One is by typing in the full secure number, or the other by using the secure contacts. I will demonstrate how to make a call from secure contacts. Pressing the secure contacts icon, you are prompted to enter a password to unlock access to the contacts. Once unlocked, a list of preset contacts is visible. Select the contact, then call secure. Once the call is answered, a key exchange will take place between the devices. The key exchange uses a 4096 bit algorithm called Diffie-Hellman. Please note the calling number. This is the secure number and this is bonded to the device. This means that you can put in any carrier SIM and the secure number will always stay the same for that device. Once the key exchange is completed successfully, a you say partner says window will open. This adds another level of security as this challenge response code is only visible on the two devices and are unique to this call only. This prevents a man in the middle attack. Additionally, there is confirmation that the call is secure and there is also a real-time indicator of the signal quality. Dark green for good, going to light green, yellow and then red for poor connection. The call delay while the connection is dark green is around one to one and a half seconds, going up to four seconds if the connection is red, that is a poor connection. Once the call is hung up, the you say partner says window is cleared. To send a secure SMS, press the secure message icon on the top left. Highlight the contact you wish to SMS, press select and then enter the required text.
Once the send button is pressed, you can see the SMS being encrypted, compressed and then sent. When the SMS arrives on the recipient device, press read and the SMS will be displayed. If the phone is locked, the user will be required to enter a secure cellular password before being able to read the SMS. To reply, press menu and enter the required text. To make an unencrypted call, press the Windows button and then press the Windows Dialer application. As you can see, the standard dialer application is launched together with options to make a call or send an SMS from your contact list, etc. Of course, the user also has the ability to use all the other applications, depending on which is allowed under the security settings of the device. That concludes our brief demonstration. Thanks for watching.